It was Malaysia that took the lead through Syed Chalan from a penalty corner in the 12th minute. It was a wonderful flick by the young player and that gave them the lead. And they should have maybe had two, but there was a penalty corner, a penalty stroke missed before it was touched in by Nor Shafiq Samantri after good work by Shella Silverius. And that made it 2-0 in the 21st minute. And Malaysia looked to be coasting. But then Japan came back. Ken Nagayoshi with a goal that was a little bit fortuitous. You'd have to say the keeper will feel he should have done a little bit better. But the second one, he was left no chance whatsoever from Nagoyoshi. And that made it 2 all as we headed into the half-time break. And the Japanese bench were pretty happy. Malaysia, though, well, they went behind again. This was great advantage played by the umpire and a superb finish by Subayasa Tanaka after good work by Shota Yamada. Yamada fell and it was a play on was the call and Tanaka said thank you very much. That was 3-2 Japan and then Syed got his second. Another really good flick to the left hand side and we were all tied up at three apiece. Then there was a yellow card to Chiba for Japan so it was 10 minutes and that gave Malaysia an extra man. Good work by Faisal Sari inside the circle played across the face of goal and Sharman who'd come in for the injured Najib Hassan made no mistake with the goal at his mercy to give Malaysia the lead and then it was again good work by Faisal Sari what a game he had along the baseline played it across Azrai was there to tip it in and that made it 5-3 to Malaysia with 12 minutes left in the match and you thought they'll never let a two goal cushion go again but the samurai spirit was alive and well. Good work by Matsumoto at the top of the circle after Ken Nagayoshi set this move up, winning the ball in midfield. And Matsumoto gave his team hope, but there was still...